And welcome back to Ocean Horn 2. Uh, it's a glorious day here in the White City as uh, Trin gets sent on a side mission that separates her from the party. Now, at this point, she is destined for bigger things and uh, uh, she is introduced to Ocean Horn, one of the mechanical beasts that she will be. Uh, piloting so as she has shown this uh we get to stand and watch her receive her new uh vehicle for combat uh, but we are left to our own devices here and uh trin uh moves on to bigger things um so you know we're just a bunch of back uh, woods knights who helped with this grandiose mission and now we're sort of you know back where we started here in the white city and uh we're about to get our uh, our first side mission we uh trin won't be back for a while i get the feeling that the master is a little uh tired from the journey a little weary from his travels. Yes. And so, uh, he goes to rest. I'm going to oil my joints as well. Oh, you're young. Go and explore the city or even the nearby lands. Meet us in my study if you get bored. So, our young knight is left to his own devices. And of course, uh, this Arcadian soldier has a mission for him uh, to go in Trin's place on uh on a, a mission uh, into the the ginkgo company and now these are the people that make the vending machines that you see all over arcadia and so there's something wrong here and uh we've got to figure out what it is and what's different from the side mission to the to the actual game mission is there's no there's no scripted dialogue it's all the blue, 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 and that's okay you just got to read it and uh but anyhow this mission starts us in in warehouse now the warehouse makes sense we just came down through a manhole cover into a place where for some reason there's no real employees And like all missions, when you start a mission in uh, Ocean Horn, uh, you go look for stuff. Uh, always be on the lookout for anything that you can smash or break and try to get money from. If not money, try to get uh, you know weapons and supplies. I don't see anything around here, but uh, we are just starting the journey here's some bags we can bust let's see what's in these absolutely nothing so uh not a good not a good start for us when it comes to gathering gear but you know there's always other bags there we go we got a little bit of money out of those and uh there's always other things to bash so we end up going through uh what I would consider to be just hallways in this corporation, but there's no people, and there's some robots here working on the on the on the on the vending machines. But be prepared for what's behind the workers here, and that are the that is of course the security guards, and the security guards are these floating beasts of machinery with these uh, red orbs in them. They fire these really slow-moving fireballs, uh, but the good thing is, is you can attack them with your grappling hook and bring them to you, uh, sort of like the way we do that with those bees out in the meadows. We can do that here with the uh, with the security guards, and so if they're in range of your grappling hook, bring them in close and smack the crap out of them with your sword. That's the best way to attack them. Let's see, follow the storyline here. Okay, hazardous late waste leaving uh, towards the wetlands where we just came from. Uh, uh, reading this one, yeah, more hazardous waste shipments. So basically they're 
they're shipping off waste into the marshlands and uh, if you notice there's a key here I didn't pick up a key so now I have to go back I gotta go back and look for the key but I I know where the key is it's just if we, as soon as you go back to look for the key you'll be like duh why didn't I see that Right there it is. <laughs> it's in this chest hiding in this one location. The reason why you didn't see it, you came from the other direction. And, if, and you and I both failed to turn around and look into this chest. But now we have the key to the door, right? So this has just been a slow, you know, puzzle game up to this point with no real combat. Uh, there'll be combat in a little while. Uh, but first, uh, we got to sneak our way through this building. Yeah, two hits. Two hits. And, oh, by the way, if it explodes right beside you, the flames don't do anything to you, so don't worry about you have to get away from the flames. You don't. We're just waiting for this thing to take us down. And, uh, from here things get interesting. So we've got this cargo load in the way of the tracks. And we got to move that load out of the way. If we go beyond this point, we get fried. And, uh, there's a lightning bolt right here. So you know what that means. Load a lightning bolt. Right, and look up. Okay, there is, uh, something that the lightning bolt can shoot at. And we're going to carry the circuit around and power up the crane so that the crane can move the, the metal out of the way. So and we're not talking really hard stuff here, just annoying to figure out. Uh, 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 so as soon as we uh, move the load, we got to jump on the first car. I think there's a second car, but the second car has less less cover and so really what we're doing is we're dodging the lasers again lasers will hit you and hurt you in a heartbeat and uh but we are also being pestered by the patrolling uh robots the guards here the security drones oh worry more about the lasers Ooh, I almost didn't survive that. Ooh, that was painful. So, the thing is to not worry about the drones here. Be worry more about the lasers. Because the lasers are what's going to kill you. The drone is just an annoyance. But I say wait until you get off this thing before you attack them. Because we don't want to get killed by this laser wall here. And so we're going to jump off here. Now we can attack those drones. Pull them in close and hit them twice. Waiting for this other one. Where is he? Oh. I think we're good. So yeah, the load goes off that way. If you go through the lasers, you get killed. And so what you really want to do is... Uh, enter the gecko the ginkgo corporation and uh so now we're in the corporation proper and uh obviously these are the people who made the metal androids and robots that attacked his city so now it's all coming together in his head who these people are so at this point he's fulfilled his mission he knows what's going on and now it's a matter of escape and so the next part of this uh, episode is about escaping more so than exploring. And uh, you don't really know that until it's, uh, until it's over, really, because you're on a mission and you don't realize this is the mission. The mission was to figure out what's going on. He now knows it. And now it's time to, uh, you know, make a, a hasty getaway. I, I want to throw this bomb over there, but 
I'm hoping I get it in there. Oh no. Yeah, it blew up everything. Oh well. Um I can still get over there if I can balance myself on the beams. Let's see if I can get over there. Yeah, I can do this. There we go. I mean, why not? Give it a try. And I slip right off. <laughs> That's okay. This is a good place to go uh, because this is in game. There's no way out of here now except to escape. Uh, there's no going back, only forward. Make sure you have your grappling hook up and uh, use it to your best advantage. Yeah. I'm taking the high ground here. We're going to jump down and attack these people. These, these, uh... There we go. That's what we're talking about. Use that grappling hook to your advantage because it really does help. Okay. Now there's another guy over here. I can either work my way around to him or <laughs> shoot his butt. Let's shoot him. There's one hit. There we go. I don't know if there's any more in here. I think that's it for the side mission. Uh, but we do have to get out of here. I think there's one more in it down there somewhere. But that's all right. The side mission takes us up here. We have to learn to balance on narrow pathways, right? Uh, just like climbing ladders and you... Oh, look at me, I fell into the water. If you fall in the water, grappling hook back up to this one grappling point so you don't drown. And uh, let's try this again. This time I will stay on the platform. And uh, this is about ne negotiating tight spaces uh, on narrow beams. And uh, something I need practice at because I fell through the floor back there. There's the other... There's, and he just shot at me. Ugh. Now I can turn around and shoot him if I wanted to, but oh, oh, the animation took over. I've completed the mission. Now the, the reason I did this mission isn't because it's difficult. It's because it's lucrative. Not for what you find on the mission, which I found a lot, but it is what you get for doing the mission and you basically get 500 uh, some extra experience points a lot of experience points 500 experience points yeah. and what did that do leveled me up to Pathfinder so I'm Red Star YT, and you've been watching my gameplay here on YouTube. And uh, I want to thank you for staying with me to the end. And be sure to like my channel and join my channel because uh, why not?